Requiem of the Rose King, episode 18. Probably for the first time since since her relationship with Henry the Sixth, Richard, uh, yeah, is finding warmth again, uh, finding uh, searching for a man's warmth again, and it had to be Buckingham. <laughs> and ngayon nahuli sila ni Anne na lumabas sa kwarto dun sa kwarto yon, kasi. Uh, two bodies have been found in the courtyard. These same two bodies were the two uh, were the two na pinatay ng ng lead actor sa last episode. Ayun na, natagpuan. And, well, suspicion is now going around. Siyempre, chismis, intriga, that meron ang sinampulan ang hari. Pinapapospon nila, pinapospon na nila Gates B at Buckingham yung yung next na banquet sabi ni Richard nope tuloy pa rin yan but I got a plan so inutos niya ngayon sa lahat ng mga lahat ng mga uh, pers- yung personal guard niya na i uh, i-distribute ang ang letter na to sa lahat ng mga guests right including the one who the one who killed these two excuse me <coughs> siguro the strategy was simple he wrote that letter in such a way na everyone's going to come in disguise except him and the queen ganun nga nangyari so medyo Nahuli niya kung sino talaga kung sino ang prime suspect nila sa mismong banquet because everyone else was in costume. But before this, he was able to he was able to introduce himself in the in this episode. His name is Henry Tudor. Yeah, the Earl of um well, bottom line, he's a Lancastrian supporter. Mula nung naging hari si Edward the Fourth. Napatal siya sa pwesto. So, well, another Lancastrian is out for um, is out for Richard's head. So, this is confirmed already. Later on in the back of all, everybody's having a good time. Um, hinamon ni Anne na magdamit babae si Richard. Because, well, from that opening scene, talagang malakas na suspecha niya na her husband is not exactly a man. Eh, well, the pressure si Richard. Okay, sige. Magdadamit babae ako. So, nagdamit sa babae. Tinulungan pa nga siya ni Cakes B. Right? Then, labas, then paglabas niya, mas buka pa sa babae kaysa kay Ali. <laughs> Out they went to the ball. And, wow, every male guest wanted to dance with Richard. They are totally clueless that this is the king. <laughs> then, uh, suddenly, a guy in a a guy in a horse mask approached Richard, saying, uh, "Well, would you like to dance with me?" Paghawak na paghawak pa ni Richard. Alam na niya na si Buckingham ito. Yep, confirmed. So uh, she ran off with Buckingham in a horse. Then. Um, Medyo naksidente kasi hindi na tao dito out of focus na sa pag sa horse sa sa pag horse riding si Richard si Buckingham na ang nagpatigil sa kabayo they both went down and one thing led to another confirmed kabit na ni Richard si Buckingham final scene a familiar face visits um visits the house they um they temporarily took shelter in. Well, yep, this is the same house um King Edward used to um to meet up with this um to meet up with this now other woman, see the Queen Dowager, who's now the Queen Dowager. It's Henry the Sixth, and we all we now know. What Buckingham's real name is. 
Henry Stafford. <laughs> but anyway, Patreon, Bigo, Maka Lifestyle. We're gonna break this episode down now, Critic Shop style. Pace, as usual, all right? I got no complaints about the pacing on this episode. Again, those Shakespearean feels, the, um, um, uh, it was, the pacing was beautifully done. Talagang, uh, talagang artistic eh. All right? Typical of a, typical of any work of William Shakespeare. All right? Well, if you're, if you're totally new into this, um, into these kinds of animes, you would find it slow and boring. Eh, well, power tip ko nang sa inyo. You better glue your eyes to this anime. If not, well, you might as well, uh, you might as well uh, go on your merry way to um, to watching other things. Flow naman. Well, first gear shift here is the um, uh, is the opening scene where Anne suddenly sees Richard and Buckingham coming out of Buckingham's room. No brainer there. Dahil dito na kumpisa yung suspecha ni Anne. Pero nakatabi mo na nga sa kama ito, hindi mo pa na nakalatang babae ito. Second gear ship was when well Henry Tudor made his move uh, made his move already on uh, on the son of the king, si Edward. Alright, si Prince Edward. Wow. If this gearship doesn't show you how much of a villain Henry Tudor will be in this, uh, in somewhere along the line, somewhere along this anime, I don't know what will. Final gearship was that scene where in. <clears throat> Pwede natin ma-confirm na well, Richard now has an other man si Buckingham. Kapit! Lalaki niya! <laughs> Considering the fact that Richard is actually a woman. Right? So, these three gearships that I saw all three of them I could feel it in my bones that will play all three of them will play a role down the line. Uh, uh, in the uh, in this anime, plot lines. Excuse me. Malinis mga kalais sa Patreon Digo. Malinis. Eh, bakit? Kasi you would not. Cite the um the actual running away of Richard and Buckingham to be an explainer sequence, or it's not even a side story. It's part of the main. It's part of the actual story. Right. Kaya. Tuloy tuloy ang panonood mo, tuloy tuloy ang ang uh, ang pagintindi mo sa kwento ng episode dito. It's a really clean plot. And considering na <clears throat> it has a slow pacing, well, uh, I couldn't, well, don't get me wrong, mga ka-lifestyle, Patreon, Bigo, na pag sinabi kong slow pacing, masama na. Nope. Because the plot was this, the plot was this clean that you also needed the, um, you also need a slow pacing to make the, make the viewer understand what is actually going on. Kaya ganun yun. So pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. So, Requiem of the Rose King, episode 18. No brainer. Two dubs up! So, ano na magiging implications ng episode na to? Well, let's look ahead. Uh, let's look beyond the next episode. Historically, um, I'm not sure kung talagang what you call this? Kung bromance yung 
yung relationship nila Richard III at ng Duke of Buckingham that back then. Pero yeah, that was one that was one uh that was one friendship that went south kasi si Buckingham led his own revolt against Richard III. Pero he failed. So Pero itong yung twist na binigay for this anime talagang wow. Right? It Well, you can call it an exaggeration if you can, if you can, if you base it on historical fact. Yes, it is. Pero anime po ito mga kaibigan, right? Expect uh, the bizarre plot twists in an anime like Requiem of the Rose King. After all, it the mang the manga this was based on was based on an original draft. Uh, by an original draft of Richard III. So, ganito ba talaga yung original draft? No? Talaga meron siyang uh, LGBT overtones. Well, kung, considering the fact that during those times, the Renaissance, there's no such thing as gender tolerance. <laughs> gender tolerance. Gender tolerance wasn't a thing back then. If you're, if you, if you're a woman dressed uh, dressed uh, like a man, and and it's not even, and there's no, and there's no upcoming costume party. Uh, sorry, ganon ba abugbugin ka sa alie? Or if you're a, yeah, if you're a, um, if you're a man dressed like a woman, and you walk and you walk down the street, eh, sorry, ganon lang. Baka, bakit tu baka? Gender tolerance wasn't a thing back then in the Renaissance. So, probably, yeah, itong, itong suspicion ko dyan eh. Maybe Sir William Shakespeare figured I might get lynched when this goes out in public. The Queen might have me killed. <laughs> Baka papatay siya ni, ni Queen Elizabeth I noon. Well, pwede eh, kasi he's... Uh... He's uh, promoting gender tolerance. Yeah, well, the Queen Queen Elizabeth I was was uh, known to be a very strict, a very strict queen. And during that time, talagang sikat si William Shakespeare. Siyang pinakasikat na playwright noon si William Shakespeare. He even yeah, he caught the Queen's attention so many times. So much as na personal na pumunta si Queen Elizabeth sa kanya mga sa isa sa mga place niya. I think um, the first run of Romeo and Juliet napanood ni Queen Elizabeth the first yun. And and she thought and uh, according to stories, okay. Mm, really nice, Master Shakespeare. If you saw the movie Shakespeare in Love, true story yun. Right, Judy, Dame Judy Dench played Queen Elizabeth I there. So, panorin yung, right? So that's another reference material for 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 this for this anime. So again, Requiem of the Rose King, episode 18. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Requiem mga lifestyle. Patreon, bigo, yeah. Talagang wow, napa consistent na anime na to. Whew. Wow. Uh, talaga nalulun na sa ano yun, no? Nalulun na sa kapangyarihan si Richard. You can, you, you, can, you, can officially, you can officially say that now. So, Patreon and Bigo, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, kaya lang magagawa ko. Eh, panoorin lang kayo mag-chill-chill dyan. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.